personally, I'm not even going to say much, but I would like to thank the people that are standing because the youth are revolute because they are hungry for the truth, you know, and they're hungry for change in how our um, our members of parliament are acting, most of our leaders are acting. They are revolute because they are hungry for that, and the leaders still refuse to do what they ought to do. Guys, we are offended by how these people move, and it's really sad that they want to tell us how to how to react. How can you ask me to react the way you want me to react when what you're doing is wrong? People are placed in positions to actually make sure that the life of Ugandans is easier, is softer. People can find a way to actually feel happy being in their country. People in Uganda no longer feel like you can make it in Uganda. That's why so many people are leaving Uganda. You have so many Bakadam. Why you're having all these things happening is because people don't have hope in making it down here. But politicians have hope every single day because every money that comes in, that they get all this money, that they get foreign funding that should help the many, helps the few. And it's really sad. And when you see our own president stand and be against us when we're actually championing this cause, saying, you know what, we do not like what you guys are doing. The president of Uganda came into power saying that he's fighting things like corruption and unfairness. When we come and say we're fighting that, he should be joining us immediately. Because what we are fighting for is the thing he stood for when he was coming into power. It's only right for him to also be on our side, but he's not. Because I think he, he, he's very, very aligned with the people who are doing what they are doing. And then he pretends that he cares that there is change or there is corruption. It's really, really bad. We, we had a match. He also had a match. Why shouldn't people march to the parliament when they are actually showing that they are frustrated by the par parliamentarians? Why? Why should it be hard? Why should people be in prison? As we speak, we have so many of our friends in there, and it's really, really sad. I pray, I pray that a day comes where many of us can stand, because the problem we have is that whenever some stand, others don't stand. And it's really one of the things that really hurts the most. The first time we had a match with Bobby Wine were so many people. And the time came for us to actually move, and we were like 10, to be honest. We were joined by other people as things were going on who didn't even know what we were up to. But because of our voice and what we came up with, they joined us. I just pray that many of us stand, because what we are standing for is a noble cause. It's not something that we are trying to hate on Museveni. Personally, I don't hate the president. I hate his doing. I hate how he runs the state, but I don't hate him as a man. There is no hate in my heart. I don't think I would feel like, oh, you know what I hate? I don't like the president. We respect him as an elder, but we don't respect his acts. We do not respect how he runs the country. We do not respect how he protects the people who do evil to the country and the people. Because what is going to happen is that, and we all know, this is what I'm telling you, something you already know. We all know that every money that is coming from outside Uganda to come here and help us, that is actually stolen and all that, it's us that are going to pay it. We, the younger people, these people are going to be dead already. It's going to be us to suffer. And if we don't stand now, before things get worse, we have a problem. And most of these parliamentarians have to be put to book to be honest, because most of them don't respect their positions. They were put in positions to do good by the people. And what are they doing? Most of them can't even sign a bill so that they go out there and, and see how they can table a topic, like, a topic like corruption. And some of them can't even sign. Because some of them are part of NRM. And with NRM, I think there's a lot of group thinking, which is really, really bad, where people join a thing and just think as a group. You have to think as an individual because you are voted by your people in your area. You have to respect them and stand for them. I pray we have more people in the parliament that really respect Ugandans, 
Respect the money that comes in to help Ugandans so that it does what it's supposed to do. We talk about corruption, we don't talk about theft. This is theft. It is way past corruption. This is theft. And those are my words. I don't want to say much, but I've already said much. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Anita, manager Palm Hotel. We are located opposite Mukwano Mall along Rashid Kamis Road. You can get to us through the numbers on the screen. We have very affordable accommodation, free internet, DSTV and more other offers. You can follow us on all our social media platforms. We are Palm Hotel.